lot of new things to discuss today. We are starting a new unit and none of us have started a new unit on this digital platform before, so we're gonna be doing it together. So I wanna walk through a bunch of different things that will play into how you will be completing the work for this unit. So I'm gonna present my screen. Sam, can you go off mute and tell me, can you see my screen? Yes, Ms. Harley. Awesome, thank you, Sam. So first thing I want to go through is I wanna go through what the unit plan is. So this is, for some of you, you've seen how I've taken notes before. For others of you, you haven't. So this is the way that I enjoy taking notes. It has been, oops, oh, sorry. It has been something that I've done since college and I, I really enjoy organizing my thoughts this way. So this is just what our unit is going to look like for the next two weeks, which is right before spring break. So what a unit plan does is it breaks down what skills and standards are we gonna be focusing on? Which if you look at these numbers, it's standard one, standard two, standard three, and standard five. So many of you already know what those standards are. Standard one is around selecting evidence. Standard two is around main idea and um, central idea. Standard three um, is around interactions between different characters and plot. So we're gonna be doing a lot with those standards. If you want to look more into what those standards say, I have that resource posted on the Google Classroom. And if I don't, I will make sure I post it today. Some other things, we're gonna be focusing on identity and transformation. So we're gonna talk about what the definition is of identity and what transformation means in this context. But for right now, just know that we're gonna be thinking a lot about how different people are different and all of the different ways that we show up in our lives. So when I go through our first assignment, you'll see a little bit more what I mean. So this is the unit plan. If you're interested in looking at this more carefully or if you want this sent to you, please send me an email and I have no problem with sending this to you. And if you want to have it explained a little bit more, that is totally fine and I would love to do that. Um, the second thing that I want to show you is we have, um, we have vocabulary today, or not today, this week, sorry. So what I want to show you is that on our Quizlet, which I put on to the Google Classroom, we have all of our different words. I know that you all have done Quizlet for social studies before, so I'm not gonna go through how to use Quizlet. If you have a question about how to use Quizlet, please send me an email and we will make sure that you get all of that figured out. The words are all focused around identity and transformation. So we're gonna talk about a lot of these words and we're gonna practice using them tomorrow. So I'm gonna pause there. I see a couple people in the comments. Thank you, Lena, for supporting with the attendance sheet. Leia, send me an email and I will make sure I fix that request. Thank you. So I'm gonna keep moving forward. Are there any questions about the two things that I've shown, the unit plan and the vocabulary? Okay. If you have questions, put them in the chat. Thank you, Brandon and we will deal with them as they come up. Something else I wanna talk through. So our first lesson, I had it open in Google Classroom at eight o'clock this morning. So this is what your lessons will look like. If you notice, I have a, this is important, start reading here, right? Make sure that you read your directions at the top of the page. If you don't read these directions, you will not know how to turn this in correctly, and therefore you won't get full credit. So please make sure you read your directions carefully. In class, I was able to remind and remind and remind because we're in a digital format. It is up to you to read all of your directions and follow them carefully. 
I am not there to babysit and make sure that you followed the directions. So that's why I made this very clear that you need to be reading those directions. So what we have is for today, there's a reading of Nadia's hands. I read it, I read it out loud and put it on the YouTube page. This is the text we're using for just today. It's a picture book. It's really beautiful. It's really fast. So listen to this recording and then you will be able to do this assignment. So there are two questions about Nadia's hands and then you've got two activities. You have an external identity map, which explains in the directions. You're going to create a map about your outer identities. And so, and I encourage you to be creative. So if this means you want to do it by hand and you want to do a drawing like how I did, because I like to do these things, or you want to add in pictures or memes or um, different fonts and different colors, all of that is fine. Just make sure that it's shared with me and I have directions about the sharing at the top of the page. But an external identity map is just how you are seen on the outside. And then we're going to do an internal map, which is the different things that are more about you on the inside. So I provide directions, an example, and helpful resources about some options that you could do. But really, this is just your opportunity to be a little bit reflective and think about how my different identities show up in my life, both on the outside and on the inside. I'm going to pause here. I see, hold on, I see a lot of different comments. Let me go through. Jalissa, the vocab quiz is going to be this Friday. We're going to be using the vocab for two weeks, though. Does that make sense? So, Adrian, I don't know what you're asking me to send. Yes, Carmen, you can do it on slides if you want. No problem, Salyu. So, Desiree, you can do it in whatever format you feel comfortable. Just make sure you're following the directions. Thank you, Brandon, for putting the sign-in sheet again. Salise, this is already in the Google Classroom, along with links to the Read Aloud, which is on the YouTube, and the Vocab, which is on Quizlet. Everything is on the Google Classroom, though. Layla, yes, you can do Google Slides. Kazi, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. Oh, okay, great, Kazi, thanks. Um, so Jalissa asks, do we still have to do common lit? This week, we're moving away from common lit. Common lit will come up again because of how this is like the introductory unit to our next book. It's not really focused as much on the multiple choice types of things. We will refocus into multiple choice and using common lit as this unit progresses. Does that make sense, Jalissa? Okay, I'm gonna assume so. So Lise, you have an assignment, correct. You have an assignment in common lit due today. Yes, you are expected to do it today. Wonderful. Okay, I'm going to keep going so that we make sure that we hit everything that we need to. I'm doing okay on time. Carmen, the, the time is on the Google Classroom. It's due at 11.59 today. Brianna, yeah, unmute yourself. What's your question? So the thing that you just explained, when is that? The thing that I just explained is due tomorrow. I always give a full day, and it's in the Google Classroom with the correct due date. So um, the the Ellis Island, we still have to do that today, right? Correct. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So remember, your Google Classroom, and I'm going to make sure that you can see this, your classwork section always has the due dates. So this one is due tomorrow, and this one is due today. Does someone have a question? Sorry. Okay, so make sure that you're looking at your due dates. I work really hard to make sure that they are accurate. Also, I wanna show, make sure you see 
The resources tab is something new that I created. I put both of the rubrics for the short response and the extended response in here, along with an annotation guide. This layers of identity graphic, I just wanna show you this real fast. I created this to help you understand how the different types of identity sort of relate to each other. So in this deepest circle, this dark purple circle, you see the personal identity. This is how you are just with yourself. It's your own values and beliefs and achievements. In this middle purple circle, the one that's labeled two, that's your relational identity. Relational comes from the word relationship. And so it's how you relate to or fit with people closest to you. So think about like family, friends, maybe school, maybe work for me, right? That's this middle circle. And then the outer circle is like how you fit into the world or the larger society, which is why it's called social identity. So in this outer circle are things like um, your block or New York City or as an American, or if you are a citizen of Puerto Rico, then maybe the Puerto Rican community, right? So this is a larger grouping and all three of these circles are you. All three of them are valid. All three of them show up at different points and times in your life with different people. It's just, we are going to be exploring how this circle, this middle circle, the one that's one, is different from two and three and when it shows up in our life. So I just wanted to show you that that is a resource on the resource tab. And then quote sandwich, this is going to be for writing. Don't worry about that too much right now. You'll be able to look at that later. Here is where I'm keeping the vocabulary list. And this has your link to the Quizlet right here. And then support, Miss um, Martin has talked about this a little bit. She's got support for the people who need it. And then the extension assignment. So I'm going to just talk about this quickly. The extension assignment is an optional assignment. For some of you, I know that journaling or thinking about your own, the way that you fit into the world is something that is exciting and interesting to you. So I created an optional assignment where with just some prompts for you to journal or draw about if you wanted to. This is going to be ungraded. I won't look at it unless you want me to. It's just for you to explore yourself a little bit more in the context of this unit. So I'm gonna pause here. So I'm gonna go from what I haven't seen yet. So Angel, if you have a specific individual question, email me please. Nate, did we get work for the weekend? You have something due today. You did not have anything due over the weekend. Thank you, Sally, for putting in the attendance sheet. Nate, putting the attendance sheet in three times is not an appropriate and respectful way to be using the chat. Please do not do that again. Denise, you can unmute yourself and then Brandon, you can go after. Oh, um, did Miss Martin already answer it? I don't know because like it's hard to be typing and trying to listen to you at the same time. Okay, yep, go ahead, ask it. I'm confused because one time I loaded it to common lit and then now I don't know, it's not, I don't, I can't log in to comment it again. I'm confused about like. How okay, to well you send me an email and you and I can personally figure it out together. Okay. Okay. I great. haven't texted you one because I was having a hard time getting into this, but then I got it. Okay, yeah, send me an email. That's totally fine. So it seems like Miss Martin is answering Nate's question and Desiree, uh, Salyu. For the vocabulary quiz, what do we do with it? We study it and then take the quiz. Yep, so you'll use the Quizlet link to study for it, and then on Friday we'll have a quiz. Um, so for Celise, can you unmute yourself and ask your question? I'm not sure I understand. So for the, um, so the other assignment that you did for the, um, the one that we write out the prompt, do, is that another option or is that this assignment? No, the one that we write the prompt. This one. Yes. This is optional. The identity journal is optional. 
anything that's labeled lesson one or lesson and then a number with a date by it, those are mandatory. Okay. I've tried to organize it that way. That, and then also in your classwork, the extension assignments are optional. So those for extra, extra credit? Not for extra credit, just if you want to do them. I'm not someone who does extra credit, but if, if you're interested in this stuff and you want to do it because you think that it's cool, then you can do it. Okay. And with this unit, just so you all know, this unit is going to be more about yourself and about thinking about how you fit in the world. And so the reason why, um, the reason why I'm providing some additional optional assignments is because especially when we're in middle school, thinking about ourselves and thinking about how we fit into the world and how we want to be seen is something that a lot of middle schoolers are already thinking about. And so it's something that maybe additional resources might be of use to you. If they're not, then that's totally okay too. So I'm going to pause there. Oh, there's one more thing that I want to go through, but I'm going to pause there, make sure we don't have any additional questions. Ms. Martin, thank you for ask, answering questions on the chat. That's really helpful. Brandon, you can unmute yourself and ask your question. So I see on Google Classroom, you gave us some new material. Yep. Brandon, you're cutting in and out. It's really challenging to hear you. Is right it now. okay if we can use that to help us with the social identity assignments? So are you talking about the resource tab? Or oh, are you talking about something I different? said, I see that you gave us some new material. The yeah. resource tab yep, yeah, the is resource there tab. for you to use as you need to. So yes, you are okay. encouraged to use those if that's helpful. Okay. So Desiree, if you have a personal question, can you email me so that I can make sure I spend the time answering it correctly? So the other thing that I wanna go through is your revision form. So a lot of students were asking me how they can redo assignments on Common Lit or in the future, there are lots of revisions that happen in our classroom. And so I wanted to create a process for students to revise their work. That way you can all get the grade that you deserve and you want. So I'm gonna go through how to use this. Um, please make sure, of course, you're reading this top part. It says the purpose of this form is to give students an opportunity to earn back points on turned in assignments and quizzes. You may need to fill out more than one form if you're revising several questions. And I'll explain as we go on. So your name, everything with the asterisk star is required. So you'll go through and my name, put in my name. It's best that you put in your whole name, which is not what I was doing originally. The assignment name. So if I wanna do revisions on the what is a vaccine, I would put that in there. And then, okay, so here's directions. For each question, you must follow these four steps. One, select the type of question it is. Two, restate the question. Three, state what the correct answer is. And four, cite evidence and explain how you know the revised answer is correct. This is the same exact process that you had to do on those half slips that I had in the classroom. So the first question, step one, what type of question are you revising? For all of the common lit things, they're going to be multiple choice or short response. So for the sake of ease, I'm gonna choose multiple choice. Then I'll push next and it automatically puts me into the multiple choice revision section. I'm gonna go back and show you what the short response looks like. So if I had clicked short response, and then I push next, it would have sent me to the short response revision. This is why you might need to fill out the revision form several times for a single assignment, is because it jumps you to the section that you need. So then you would write the question, you would write the correct answer, and you would cite evidence and explain how you know the answer is correct. You would do all of those things, and then it would send you back here. Um, I might have to change that actually, because it's just sending you back and forth. I will change that and I'll make sure that you'll have a submit button after you do steps four, and then you'll be able to 
to redo it again. I'm going to pause there. Okay, Denise, if you need the code, check on Google Classroom. Angel, I have not posted the revision form yet because I'm still finalizing it. I wanted to show it to you so when I posted it, you knew what it was. Denise, send me an email then. All right, so I'm going to pause there. We've got nine minutes. I was a little bit slow today. Nine minutes left for additional questions. So if you have questions about the common lit work that is due today, I'm going to prioritize those questions first. And then if you have questions about prior assignments or future assignments, I will answer those questions next. So are there any questions about Ellis, the Ellis Island assignment that is due today? Yes, so you, I can explain the unit more. Do you have, can you unmute yourself? Do you have a specific question? Um, so for the new unit, like what are we mainly focusing about? Okay, great question. So this new unit is really focused on identity and transformation. And what that means is that it's really focused on how different people fit into their communities and how they describe themselves in comparison to others. So let me go through my example. I'm gonna share my screen again. So in that lesson one, we're starting with just being reflective about ourselves. So I created a external identity map which shows all of the different ways that other people might view me. So I'm an American, I'm 24 years old, I'm a teacher, I'm white, I'm an aunt, I speak English, I'm from the Midwest, right? Those are all things that you can see or hear right from the get-go. I'm sorry if it's hard to hear me, it's raining pretty hard here right now. So we're gonna do that first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to start reading a play called Pygmalion. And what we're gonna do with Pygmalion is we're going to track the identity transformation of the main character from the beginning of the play to the end of the play. And so us being reflective about our own identities first will allow us to then think critically about our main character's identity. Does that make a little bit more sense, Sayu? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, other questions that we have, we've got seven minutes left. So, I just want to point out again, Salyu has done an awesome job of reposting the attendance sheet. I'm going to go through while we still have time. Oh, so many more people have filled it out. That's appreciated. Although I don't appreciate necessarily who has reformatted my sheet, but we'll let that fly for right now because I don't know who did it. So I have Brandon, Salyu, Ashley, Angel, Layla, Nate, Asia, Diana, Alexander, Samantha, Anna, Catherine, Leah, DeAndre, Anastasia, Carmen, Andrew, Ramaya, Karen, Brianna, Natalia, Liz Mary, Anthony, Kwame, Elizabeth, and Edward. If you did not hear your name, then you are not on my attendance sheet right now. I'm going to post the link again. Please make sure you add your name. Kazi, I will add your name again. If someone is purposely removing names, then please make sure you fix that. Jayla, I think you accidentally went over someone's name. If you remember who, that, who was there before, can you please just fix that? Who was I replacing names for? Oh, Kazi. So I'm adding Kazi. I'm adding, I'll add Adrian, Denise, Byron. Adrian, Denise. Oh, sorry, Celise, I think I accidentally wrote over you. 
Denise Byron. All right, I'll leave you alone, Salise, so I don't accidentally keep on writing over you, sorry. Jay, I'll make sure you're in there. Jalissa, I think I got you, but I'll make sure. Yep, Jalissa, I've got you. Yadiel, thank you for adding your name. I see you. Oh, thank you, Edward, for adding your sin. If you've already added your name, please get off of the sheet. The more people that are on the sheet, the more difficult it is to have different people typing in. Yep, Shaylin, I'll add you. Yep, Jayla, I got you. All right, we've got four minutes left. Are there any additional, Shaylin, I got you, don't worry. Are there any additional questions or concerns about the work that you are expected to do today and tomorrow? Giuliani, I see you, I'll make sure you're added. All right, I will let you go a couple minutes early if there are no additional questions. If you have a question and for some reason you haven't asked it yet, you can hold back. You've got three more minutes until you've got social studies. So head on over there. And then if you need anything from me, email me. Have a wonderful day and happy Monday. Carter, I've got you. I'm off mute. Bye, Anna. Have a good day. Miss Hurley? Yes, good morning. Good morning. Can you look through? So since you're recording this, can you just hit the people button and then all of the names will come up and you'll be able to see who you missed? Yep, I'll do a, I'll do a, the thing is kids come in and leave, but I right. just scrolled through it. So it should catch it and then we'll okay. be able to work through. Okay, thank you. Yep, no problem. Good morning, Brianna. I understand if you need, I'm gonna post this video, Brianna. So if you need anything, just make sure you email me, okay? All right, other students, you should be heading out. You've got two minutes until social studies.